Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hold on, welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time we made it here to the Snow Kingdom to hang out with the Shaverians. We were able to open up their Bound Bowl Grand Prix so we can hang out with these big old bunch of racists. So here we go. We're going to jump on in and get to racing. How's that sound, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing well. If you're doing well, you love hanging out with a bunch of xenophobes. Consider liking this video. Comments, don't actually do that first part. Um, comment on this video, like, subscribe, whatever. All right, snow line circuit, here we go. Ooh, it's Papa Bear over here. Look at this guy. What's wrong with you? Our racer won't come out of the waiting room. Oh, that guy's rocking an absolute massive poo. You know it. That is a turd brewing, and you best leave him be. Yeah, this is cool. I love this uh, this aesthetic that you can kind of see the racetrack from this spectator's box for the wealthy. I don't know. Look at this guy. He's got his nice rocking chair. What are you fellas doing, huh? Oh, I see. They're one racer down. Huh. Kind of looks like the villain from Tropical Freeze. I'm on to you. Nintendo and their crossovers, you know that that's what it is. Come on, viewers, you know it is. All right. So there's a viewer, not a viewer, that's you guys. There's a racer who just won't come out of the bathroom. Wonder where they could be. I don't know. Oh, oh no, he's scared. Oh, look at him, he's so sad. He looks like a white chocolate Hershey's kiss. Oh no, he's insecure about his skill set. Aren't we all viewers? Well, I could do it. I'm not racing. I'm not ever leaving this spot. Can't make me. Oh, that's very sad. Don't worry, little fella. Maybe we can help out. Let's grab some coinage while we're here to console our friend. Oops. I remember being a kid at one point in my life, as we all were. You don't get to instantly be adults. Unfortunately, some people do. Um, oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, viewers. Yes. Oh, we're a roly-poly. Oh, this is adorable. Prepare yourselves for this madness. Oh yeah, we gonna bound, baby. Here we go. It's time. Talk to Pops here and get this race started. Shaverian Elzer, you bet. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, of course I am. Oh, I don't need any training. I'm a Mario Kart pro. This is probably the same thing, right? So this is one of those things where um, this is a very silly thing to do. And as you'll see, you can get momentum in various ways. It helps if you hit corners really sharply. Uh, yeah, so I feel pretty good about it. I haven't done this in a while, but that felt pretty darn natural. It's the Snowline Circuit Class A. This is a Class A event as well. Are you trying to say classy? But it gives you a real-time... Um, real-time updates on how you're doing. You're going to want to try to hit these corners as tight as you can. It gives you a little bit of speed. You don't want to go off the track, because you do go off the track and you do lose momentum. So we'll see how good I feel about this in a moment, as I was doing really well in the training, and then of course, now that I'm doing the real thing, it's uh, madness. There are three laps, as you can see at the top of your screen. You don't always have to be bounding, but it does help to pick up some speed from time to time. you got to reel yourself in just like that. I think I actually helped this guy out by hitting him, which is not cool. I don't know how many of these I need to do in order to win this whole circuit, but oops. That was not smart. Whoa. I briefly had control of first place. Yeah, this is a little tricky to do, especially when I'm talking. 
would really not have to do this again. Oh, he's going to probably edge me out just by a, a split second. Oh, What have we done? We have soiled the legacy of this guy. I feel like my practice run I would have won, but there was no competition there. Oh, you get some coins. Okay. Yeah, I, um... This is what I get for my, uh, never-ending hubris. Oh, they're so grumpy. Very serious. Shake that pro controller, baby. You can see what I'm using. Let's see if I can do a better job. It always seems like that's the case. Like, your first time that you, you play is always your best. And then your the remaining times that you play is always worse until you finally hit that sweet spot where you've got enough muscle memory that it feels good. This is going a little better. Oops, that doesn't help. One thing you gotta do is uh, time those jumps. You don't always need to be bounding. If I took my own advice, I probably would be doing oodles of noodles better. Oops. You just gotta make sure you don't hit that snow. That's the, that's the one killer in races like this, is if you hit that snow that's on the... Um, sidelines, or if you hit the embankments, that will kill you too, so don't do it, don't embarrass your bloodline, because you don't actually have to be bounding the entire time, it's not a requirement, especially if you're going to hit the, the hills, run for the hills, alright, that was much better, I edged my time by five total seconds. That second lap really saved me. My first one was poopy garbage. Let's see how many of these I'm willing to do in a row. Supersonic Snowman. You're gonna get me sued by Sig. Actually, I think Nintendo probably owns most of Sega's property. But the prize is the multi-moon. Are you at least gonna clap your hands? Oh, oh look at these guys. A new champion is born. You beat me fair and square. So. Third place is cool with it. Second place is not. Also, I've duped them. They're like, get out of here. They're gonna put Mario on death's row for fraud. But yeah, there's actually a study out there that said that people that get bronze medals are more happy, happier than silver medals because silver medal means you were almost successful, whereas a bronze medal means you're just happy to be there. All right. So that's basically the story medal that you need to do. You get the rest of this, I think, is you're free to explore um, the rest of the Snow Kingdom, however you can. What the heck is that? So, yeah, you can... You're free to go. You can go to wherever you want at that point. I do not know how to get up there. But yeah, you're not required to really do anything else as part of your um, exploration, as long as you get the 10 required power moons, which, um, this music is fun. Have we heard this music before? Time to get speedy. Oh, this is neat. Oop, I didn't get the last one. This is going to be ending really poorly for me. Oh. Okay. These uh, speed flowers last a long time. Holy smokes, was not expecting that. This is a neat little gimmick though. I do like this. Oh my gosh, you can go basically vertical. Viewers, we're going vertical. Dashing over cold water. Dashing through the snow. How do you feel about, um, about winter music? Or like Christmas time music beers? Do you like it? I feel like there's gotta be something up there. It made me stop because of the moon. It distracted me. I want to see if there's something else. Because these things, I think these respawn. Oops. Oh, boy. Can I grab it? Oh, no. <laughs> there's a little platform here. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. It's a shame it's not like Super Mario Galaxy where it's like, too bad. This is way less fun than that. You just very politely die. Nobody asks about how you're doing. Ooh, that just straight up kills your momentum. 
you gotta be ready to roll as you as you collect it. This music is bananas though, I love it. This makes you feel very like at home and like cozy. Everybody needs a little bit of fiddle and some sleigh bell. I mean, there's not sleigh bells in this song specifically. But everybody needs a little bit of sleigh bells and... There's gotta be something up here. Oh yeah. Who's the smartest person in the entire world? Me. I'm the only one who ever figured this out. Getting here was a good job. You really are the something. You bet. Viewers, you are the something. Dashing above and beyond. Okay. So we will head back down to the original spot. And whoop! Whee! But stomp the snow. Get it all up in our crevasse. Well, that was a fun little detour, huh? There's penguins all around. Penguins. Can we capture you? You don't. Oh. I bet you can if you're careful. Penguins are great. Cute little animals. Not a huge fan of the sports teams. Anyway, um, so we're gonna keep exploring here. I know that we can't touch the water. It's too chilly willy for us. I also look back, and I was gonna name the last episode Chilly Willy until I realized that I have actually already named something in this channel Chilly Willy. I don't remember what it was. But I did. I didn't want to be redundant, so I came up with something new. Why do they go to the side like- oh, I see. Oh, I cannot see. I see, but I cannot see. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. Kudos to my 8th grade geometry teacher for that. Boom! Give me that. There are cheap cheeps in the water. I'm assuming that they are highly evolved creatures. That can brave the cold. So let's grab one maybe? Because if we don't, we will die. This water is very cold. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like I was right. So you can. If you get yourself a chip chip. You can hang out here in these little areas. I'm assuming there's probably spots around. But there's goodies hidden, maybe. Okay, so we're like sort of in the water, not in the water. Figured that'd be causing a problem here for Mr. Fish. Guess not. I'm not entirely sure how many um, how many power moons I need. I mean, I already have technically the amount. I Ooh, that's a rabbit. Wow, that was my brain was just like, mm mm, gotta get them, gotta catch them all. Oh, you little. This goes back to my 60, Mario 64 days. Nintendo 64! How do I get you? Come here, you little jerk. Yeah, we got you. Ooh, that's, that's Moon City right there. Hopping in the snow. Don't you just love going out? It's like a nice, fresh, big old pile of snow. And, um... You get to go out and, like, run in it with your, with your boots. You don't own boots, but if I did, but just crunching through some nice fresh snow. Do we love that? I love that. I think it's very fun to be the first one to break through new fresh snow. I think it's an enjoyable experience. All right, so let's find. Kind of makes that sound of like Link when he's um. I'm like anywhere cold in like Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, etc., etc. Is that Goomba frozen? Oh, that's not Goomba, that's a... Wait, is that an onion boy? Who are you? Oh, it's a seed! Where can we plant that, though? I don't know. Also, is this another... It's another entrance to something. I'm gonna hide behind this for a second. Grab this moon chip! Boop, see ya, sucker. All right. Come down here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Definitely disappears. Um, I don't know. We'll have to do a little look-see. This area is a little bit smaller. I think that this is the, um, this is probably the entrance to Shiveria. I don't need to go 
Oh boy, this is a poor choice. Oh no. Gotta stay out of that. What a Okay. So far so good. I need to do this. No, this takes me back to the OG spot. I thought I saw that there was a um They want you to take that seed all the way up here? How in the heck do they expect you to do that? Oh, probably this way. I'm just wondering if it will let you ride the air current with the seed. I feel like it would be relatively impossible without it. Where did that seed go? There it is. Can I grab it? Oh, okay. I'm just not wanting to have to hold the controller down for the rest of my life. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I just don't know what the rules are. The mechanics of this where if it would let me do it or not. Also, I think it's a little disingenuous that they're trying to grow stuff out here. Ooh. That was close. Trying to grow stuff. Ooh, that was close. Trying to grow stuff. That was close. Trying to grow stuff. When it's cold like this. Ooh, that's a beanstalk. Okay, we'll come back to that just because I'm distracted. I'll be like all the cool people that are like, Oh yeah, I get distracted easily, so I have ADHD. No, you don't. That is a certifiable medical condition. Don't you downplay it. I've heard it's not fun. I know people that have it. For reals. A lot of people want to pretend that they have illnesses because it's, I guess, a trendy thing to say. Where it's like, oh man, I'm obsessive compulsive. I like to make sure that all my shoes are lined up. Or like, I'm obsessive compulsive. I have to wash my hands 700 times before I can leave the bathroom. Okay, that might be legitimate. But the other example is not. Being obsessed compulsive is also another one of those things that is very trendy to say you have when in reality you might just be, um, you know, like you have an urge to be organized or something like that. True compulsion, like obsessive compulsion is pretty brutal, I've heard. How do I get you to come here? Grab my line. Mm, tug on my pole. There we go. I guess I gotta get right in front of you. Show you the goods. Okay. Oh my gosh, that lacked you? <laughs> Did you hear it? He's very excited. I love getting got. Thanks, Mario. All right, come on. Give me the big boy. Oh, he's so sad. I didn't read the prompt. I didn't see what it told me to do. All right, where's the big boy at? This is a good use of our time. I mean, if it results in a moon, anything is a good use of your time. Let's try again. It's like Link's Awakening. The fishing minigame. <laughs> yeah, boy. I remember when I was trying to record for the ending of Link's Awakening when I did that big, uh, whatever you want to call it, compilation of getting the... Uh, the seashells, and I had to do the fishing mini game a bunch because you have to get that one big fish, that real big fish. But no, 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 no. Anyway, um, and in doing so, it took me a bunch of takes. I was not about it. Okay, it took a long time. Oh, game, get you know, get on my level. The Snow Kingdom timer challenge, more like the easy did it in the first try, stupid easy challenge, duh. Oh boy. I'm going to freeze to death. I did this already. Um, what's up, boys? Oh, you can't get the penguins. That's stupid. Where's that final moon ship? This is the one downside to uh, this area being. Huge, also, moon chips. This looks like this is... Captain Toad? Oh my gosh. So cold, I had to find some shelter. Found a power moon in there. Oh, Captain Toad, you always help us out. What a dude. He's chilly. That is a chilly mushroom. Purple mushroom, all right. So, oh, there it is. I thought I was actually gonna legitimately have trouble 
And you know what? It was easy peasy. Oh boy. Hurry. Now where does it put it? Oh. Actually, I don't know where that is in respect to me right now. So, oh, it's right here. <laughs> the game's like, stop being a little baby. It's right here. Moon shards in the snow. Okay. I, uh, I'm trying to think about what other sort of things I can explore in this area. There's no way that that's, that's it. I only got like, I doubled the amount of, the amount of, um, I feel like I doubled the amount of moons. Can you ride this? No. I don't know where else to go. I'm just gonna do a quick look around here. Look how fast I'm going. This is how quickly some people drive in the morning when you're on your way to work. You're like, please, please go faster. I hate everything about you. All right, Um, I don't think this area over here looks accessible. There's probably stuff you can do. Maybe that's like more of a post game thing. Did I do this door down here? This doesn't look familiar. Is this another bonus? Or is this the exit to the bonus on the one side? Well, you're not the same, are you? Oh, there's multiple of these little boys. Ooh, viewers. Thought I was gonna have to end the episode early. Absolutely not. You're getting your money's worth. Do we feel like the, um... Oh, these are like those challenges that are supposed to be a, uh... Ooh. Oh, these are cold. Um, do we feel like... Like the challenges in Super Mario Sunshine, which I've never actually played, but I've seen it. Um, do you feel like the length of the episode is good for you viewers? Do you feel like the 30 minutes is solid? I feel like that's a good amount of time to allow me to traverse these games. I'm stuck inside. I have always thought about whether or not it would make more sense to do things... Uh, what's the word? Quicker or like have the episodes be shorter, but then these games would also take a million years. And the games that I pick are usually, um, you know, I've got a new mantra, sort of. I don't know if I'd call it a mantra, but I like the idea of having one game that's kind of like a longer, kind of your all-star thing of the show, um, like your entree, and then there's another game that I'm gonna put that's your appetizer. That's kind of how I've been doing the channel in recent history. I think you can all figure that out. All right. Whoop. Ooh, there's a moon over here. This is probably that bonus moon. Bonus moon. Freezing water. So that's kind of like how we are doing things now. We as in me, so I don't know why I'm speaking in third person. Um, I didn't need to do that, that was dumb. All right, that was a neat little puzzle. Jump and swim. I'm gonna make it close to 30 moons here. But yeah, I uh, have like Pikmin, that's your kind of little bite size. Then you have this, and this is kind of your big boy. I think that it's, it gives good pace to the channel. A little bit of A, a little bit of B. Hopefully you're all enjoying both or else. No, I'm kidding. I'm not. All right, so. Mm -mm -mm. Gotta shake my pro controller. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, that's the wrong way. No. Oh, gosh darn it. Well, well, we'll do this real quick, and then I'm gonna try to get that beanstalk. Hit that shaft real quick before I conclude this episode. That was really dumb. You hear me shaking my pro controller because I'm a pro. No, don't jump that way, dummy. Okay. Woo. Timer challenge two? How many are there? I just hung out with pumpkin boy number two. And I thought I'd... Is there... Wait, 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 wait. Is there another seed over here? What is... What is life? What is love? Maybe don't hurt me. Does the game give you more than one seed? Or is this the one from before? And it... What is happening? I don't understand. Ooh, you know what? I bet you can push this now. I bet you can push this now with that boy. With the uh, blow boys. You can get... Yep. Get your blow on. But I gotta find one first. 
Are you the one from the stuff? Yeah. We're doing real good with... Okay, that's one we just did. You can go squash yourself, huh? Do you get it? Because pumpkin and gourd? Anyway. I need to find where... This one. I need this guy. So I think I can go down. Stop. Can we go down? Does he, like, slowly descend over time? Or do you just... Is that all you do? Because there's the wood block over here that I guarantee is, like, hiding something. Do you go down? No, no filter. Not in this day and age. How do I... I might... Mm, yeah, I need the one that's lower. So this guy? That's stupid. Oh, I need you to descend. And I also need to find a way to get that nut up there. Hear the Shavarians jingle bellin. Man, I love sleigh bells. I think I said that before, but I mean it. If you don't like jingle bells, you can get out. He's just, this guy's just full of cold air, just blowing away. All right, so this should be the right height, I think. I don't think there's a lower one than this. Yeah, I believe it was on the other side. No. Well, there's not really a ton of other places for this to be, so. It's behind the, the space here, I think. I want to see if another nut has spawned. I'm just trying to do all, like, the, the moons that make sense right now. Oh, viewers, who is the smartest Let's Play in the entire world? Me! Ooh. Ooh, is this a sliding block puzzle? I take that back. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be bad. All right, so it looks like you want the red to be here. Oh, it would help if I blew it the right way. This seems pretty logical, right? Is this like a series of um? I feel like this is probably going to get tougher. This is just like your appetizer. Yeah, this one's not too bad, but I have a feeling this is going to get way worse. They wouldn't just leave you with one. That's not the Nintendo way. Unless it is. But there would be typically, in these bonuses, there's typically a secondary moon that you grab after you get the first one, so... Blowing and sliding. Story of my life. Making a living. Is that it? I feel... There's no way. Does that guy come back? Yeah, he does. I have a feeling there's something behind this. Can you get away from this little arena? Are you stuck in it? Okay. Well, I tried thinking outside the box, viewers. I did it for you, but there's nothing around, unfortunately. Okay, so one last thing is, uh, I had the, um, I had the one beanstalk that I opened up. I don't know if it's still available. Was it this one and then it went away? It might have been this one. I don't remember. Where's the nut? Where is my nut? Oh, yep, it reset. There are not two nuts. We are going, we are one nut. One nut under Mario. All right, so we're gonna hold this. And we are going to get blown with our nut. Stop. Too much blowing. All right, let's ride this to the top. Whoop. Nope. And whoop, all right. And whoop. Okay, please do not, oh. Ooh. Are you kidding me? How hard do you throw it, Mario? I guess it's like if he's stationary or not. Alright. This will be the final moon of the day. Whatever. If this is a moon, I don't know where this takes you. Ooh, look at that nice cloud JPEG. Oh, shoot! Oh, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. This is the um, the bonus song from Super Mario World. 
song rules. Don't mind me, just singing along! Oh boy, I'm running out of juice. Oh, I love this. Yeah, this song's awesome. This gives me... This gives me good feel-goods. It's my feel-good button. Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo was a game that was very much a big part of my childhood. Me and my siblings. We were all big fans of that. Spinning above the clouds. Well, that was a little detour. That was fun. I should have said fun little detour. Got my adjectives all messed up. Yeah, I don't really know what else there is around here. Did I get that one that Captain Toad told me to get? Uh, I feel like I did. Not Captain Toad. Hint Toad, whatever his name is. Whatever that fella be. You only get the, what are you? What are you? Uncle Amiibo? No, I don't. Nope, I don't even have any. Toys are for kids, and I'm not a kid. Yeah, there's stuff up there, but I don't think that that's something that I'm anywhere close to getting yet. So in the meantime, let's get the heck out of here. It's frosty. I think that's 29. Would have been cool to get a nice solid 30, but that's okay. Let's see what uh, our total amount of moons is. Oh, that's nice. 100 and nice moons. We'll take it. All right. The Odyssey is powered up. And that means, viewers, we are on to our next... Oh boy, this is a fun one. The Luncheon Kingdom. Bowser can't run forever. So that's what we'll be doing next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.